everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I knew there was something with Fledge. Five, six, seven. Ugh, let me catch my breath. Hey, Link, oh, what am I doing? I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though, so I do it at night when no one's around to laugh at me. But it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually about ready to throw in the towel. Uh, oh, Link, what have you got there? That's not... That's not a stamina potion, is it? I don't suppose you'd be willing to let me have that, would you? Take it. Uh, really? Thank you. I owe you one. Uh, oh, yeah. I can feel my muscles perking back up already. Uh, it's just that at this rate, I don't know if I'll ever get strong and burly. Yes, you can. Wow, really? It's great to hear you're so confident in me. Maybe I can actually do this. Thank you, Link. I'll make you proud. You'll see. I'll be super burly in no time. Okay, back to training. Come back soon so I can show you the new me. Can I use your bed? I also think that since I... Now that I've seen that there's the ghost that needs the paper thing, I think now... The side quest is the short one Colin. I think the short one is Colin and the tall one is Stritch. But I think now that I did that, I think Colin's quest should be. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Should I give it to her? Or should I not give it to her? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, Link, it's you! Don't sneak up on me like that. I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now, and you're distracting me. What? You want to hear about it? Ugh, normally I would never, ever tell someone like you, but these are dire times. Come to think of it, you might be just the person I need. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. Ugh, I can't believe I just said that, but whatever. Let's do this. Link, I have a task for you. So listen up. Your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. Huh? What's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? What? There's someone in the restroom at night who wants paper? You fool, how dare you? This is no ordinary piece of paper, it's a letter. A very special one at that. I put my heart in every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like... Alright, fine, it's a love letter. And that is what, why you will not, under any circumstances, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? So listen up. The person you must give it to is a girl. An upperclassman. Her name is Karani. You know what I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one. And don't you dare, not even by mistake, even think of giving it to that weirdo in the restroom. Swear it. There it is. I'm entrusting this letter to you. So don't read what's inside. Do you hear me? You received Colin's letter. Can you believe this letter might actually contain heartfelt words from Colin? Take extra care you don't end up using a scrap paper. I'm counting on you, Link. Get to it. If you don't mess this up, maybe I'll let you be my sidekick. So this is actually a quest with different routes. You can, in fact, give the paper to the ghost hand. Which will make the ghost hand think that oh, it's a love letter for the ghost hand and it'll fall in love with Colin and then haunt him at night and he will be terrified. Or you can do it the normal way and give it to Karane. Is it Karane? Is it Karane or Karan? I think it's Karane. <laughs> She's usually like in the library, right? Here she is. Uh, oh, Pippin, how can I get you to notice me? Ah, oh, Link. Uh, what's the matter? Do you uh, need something? I wonder if you heard what I was just talking about. Your letter. Huh? A letter? For me? Could it be from Pippet? There you go. Oh, thank you. I'll just take that. I wonder who it's from. Whoa. That's some really terrible handwriting. Anyway, never mind that. Let's see what it says. Greetings. My love for you is wider than the horizon and deeper than the clouds. I'd very much like to know if you would go out with me. Your brave knight, Colin. Oh, this Colin guy, isn't he the one of Groose's flunkies? And this, this is a love letter from that Colin kid, right? Oh boy. 
So yeah, I just say he really put his heart into all it and everything. I don't know. Maybe we should just consider going out with Colin. <laughs> As if. <sighs> I wonder what Pippet would think if he knew about this. She's got the hots for Pippet. Not for Colin. What? Link claim oh there's like news. I never even knew that was there. Pippet! Pippet oh boy! Oh, what's up, Link? Huh? Karana got a love letter? I, I see. That's interesting. Wow. Uh, what do you think she intends to do? I think I have to actually egg him on. Oh, what? This is a big problem, isn't it? Oh, I mean, uh, it's not like there's anything going on between me and Karana, you know? We're just friends. Well, it's not my business who, who she goes out with. I don't have much to say about it. But you know, I do have a duty to make sure that everyone's living up to the high ideals of our night school, right? I mean, ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that can't really be called love at all. You know what I mean? So I should just step in and make sure that she's found a true love that aspires to the highest ideals of our fine educational institution, right? What about me? I have the right to experience an unfettered and passionate love too, don't I? You understand, don't you, Link? I'm not wrong about this, am I? You like her? What? Don't be ridiculous, Link. I don't understand how you could make such a wild accusation. Well, either way, I don't suppose you'd mind asking her what her decision is going to be, would you? These are always, this doesn't happen in real life. Like, this situation, this never happens in real life. Someone needs you to be the in-betweener for a love triangle. People usually just so deal with their own problem. Up, oh, cutscene. Man, he is short. You're the one who sent me the letter, right? Yes. <laughs> hey, that was a wonderful love letter. Thank you. It wasn't that great. And uh, what's your answer? My answer? Ah, oh, my answer. Oh, please, please go out with me. Wait! I think you should go out with me instead. I mean, I want to ask you out. Uh? What? Hey, hold on there. What are you trying to pull all of a sudden? Er, uh, I want to go out with Pippet. <laughs> huh, see that, you fool? I knew she would choose me. She's been checking me out for weeks. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> wait, really? God, Pippet's tall, especially compared to Shorty over there. Truly, you choose me? Yes, I'm so happy. Thank you. This can't be happening. No. <laughs> Link. When you told me about the letter, I was at that moment that I finally realized. I realized that I love her. I thought to myself, I can't let anyone else take her from me. If you hadn't told me, I might never have even noticed my own feelings for her. I'm so grateful, I don't even know how I can ever thank you. That'll do. Here are five energy crystals, blah, 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 blah. And that makes 40. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> hey, thanks, Link. Because of you, I have an amazing new boyfriend. But I feel kind of bad about Colin, you know. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. He's kind of not a great person. <laughs> that mean, doesn't mean he doesn't deserve happiness, but he needs, he should work a little harder first on bring, making other people happy before, him, <laughs> before he gets his own. Right now, he's kind of a bully. Kind of a sour puss. All right, I think now that's everything I can do up here, for the time being, at least. So... And I think all I get from Betrayal right now would be rupees. Because I think... Let me think. He gives you... I think you get your next major thing from him at 60. I think 50 is rupees, 60 is a wallet, 70 is rupees, and then 80 is a wallet. 80 actually will get you the wallet that holds, with everything combined, 9,900 rupees, which 
I mean, there's not much else I need rupees for in this game that I can't already hold. Come here, bird. Thank you. Now we need to go to Faron. There's some changes from what I remember. Point of view, preferred this the scent area. Oh, maybe not. I thought there were. Uh, let's do the viewing platform. I thought things. Maybe it doesn't happen yet. A report, Messerlink. I have to take the ore of a trial gate nearby. If you can pinpoint the origin of this ore using dowsing, I conjecture the song you learned at the Isle of Songs, Fair of Courage, will reveal the gate. I think it's actually right. Oh, wait, I gotta switch to. It is right there! Oh, good memory. Good memory on my part. Oh, there's blue bakoblins now. Alright, the world's become a little harder. sound being made. It sounds like someone's tapping like an acorn. <laughs> she actually sang nicely there. Something here is reacting to our performance of Pharaoh's Courage. I've confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. I calculate a 90% possibility that this is mark is a trial gate, as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from on the we heard from on the Song of Island. Isle. Isle of Songs. Blah. Start your sword in the center of the mark of the ground before you. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is where I get Dusk Relics. I think. The Silent Realm. Master Link. As expected, I cannot follow you into this realm, for this trial calls out to your mind alone. This is the nature. The nat This is the nature of places known. What? That doesn't make any sense. This is the nature of places known as Silent Realms. They are domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial, trial, Pharaoh's Silent Realm, tests the limits of your courage. Your spirit is temporarily separated from your physical body so that you may undertake this challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. You got the spirit vessel. This mysterious plant represents your spirit, Link. That is your spirit vessel. When this vessel is full, it will signify you have successfully completed the trial, allowing your spirit to grow. This, in turn, will allow the goddess to bless you with a new power. To fill the spirit vessel, you need to search for something known as a Tear of Pharaoh. There are many of them spread across this strange world. Master, you see the glowing object just in front of you? That is a Tear of Pharaoh. You will need to collect 15 of them. However, this is not a simple task as it would seem. Your work in this realm is referred to as a trial for good reason. If you take even a single step outside the protective circle you stand in, the guardians of this realm will wake up and pursue you, Master. If a guardian manages to land even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter and you will fail the trial. You must collect the tears scattered throughout this area and fill the spirit vessel without being hit by an attack. 
Was my explanation clear, Master? No, I got it. Understood, Master. I will be eagerly awaiting your return to the outside world. May the goddess watch over you, Master. Okay, this shit is hard. That I remember. There are dust relics somewhere around here. When you get a tear, it resets them. 90 seconds. Wait, 90 seconds? That's actually a long time. We got a light fruit. I'm sure it enables you to see beacons for over the position. Uh -huh. Ninety seconds is a long time. Ah, so the dusk relics appear where amber relics would normally appear. There's actually an exploit to this, I think. It's basically. Can I leave? Let's see if this works the way I think it does. You can either leave or get hit by... Ooh, that didn't look pleasant at all. You can either um, get hit and killed, or you can manually leave, but then if you go back, I think it'll... Let's see. Put it in. Also, these Silent Realms are real hard. And they get exponentially harder. I know, I know. Is there one over there, I wonder? Alright, so let's see if what I remember is right. Oh. A lot of cutscenes in here. I hate that, like crazy clanking soundtrack that plays. Okay, they do respawn. So I'm just gonna keep doing that and get a bunch of these things. And then we'll be back. I wonder how many I need. Well, I've got time. I should look over here. Oh, there's one. Okay, so I can get two at a time. Maybe I'm lucky into the third one over here. Oh, I can also use this opportunity to kind of scope the landscape. So it looks like I gotta get that one. And there's, I think there's one on top there. Alright, so this is gonna be a whole thing. Okay, that's 20. I have 20 dusk relics from restarting this thing over and over. Let's see. No, I should try it for real. So. I don't remember the first one being too bad. They get they get tough, but not that bad. Let's get out of that light. By the way, water, you don't want to touch water in the uh, Silent Realms. There, it's called, in the Silent Realms, it's called Waking Water. And what it actually does, what it, what it actually does is alert guardians the same way as, like, stepping out of, uh, uh, what's it called? See? Look, here you go. Luckily, there's a thing right here. So. Hey, another desk relic. Okay, so now with that. And the cool thing about these Silent Realms is once you've collected a tier one time, it permanently shows up on your map, so you can always find it again. Alright, so I got 6 out of 15. Here. Uh, okay. That one. Bunch over there. One over there. That one's right there on the path, so it shouldn't be that bad. Oh shit, that wasn't supposed to fill up. Run, 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 run. Oh god, the ones that fly are the worst ones. Excuse me, sir. I didn't know there was receding water there. Oops, you have been paying attention. Okay, where else? Oh, I always thought that the gates 
that are blocking places off in the Silent Realms look like something from, like, Kingdom Hearts. Excuse me. There's one up there, huh? How do I get up there? Oh, probably this way. There's also one there. Oh, this, I remember this. There was a goddess cube up here that I had missed, I think. No, 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 stay up. We don't want to fall down there in the water. I'm only missing... That's one way over there. One over there. I'm only missing three. Yeah, this isn't so hard. The one... I remember the one I've always had the most difficulty with was there's one... There's one per region, and there's one on Elden Volcano, and for the life... I mean, for the life of me, I'm just not good at that one. One here. Oh, it does relax. Don't mind if I do. So there's a decent number of Dusk Relics per uh, Silent Realm, it seems, but I'd rather just get all the ones I could possibly need in that. Hello. Will this move in the real world? Huh. Yeah, I'd rather get all the ones I could possibly need now, and then not have to worry about it later. Where was that last one? It's over there. Ay, sorry. Hit my mic. Sorry. Sorry. Smack my finger right into everything. What's that guy doing? Just standing there? Boom. You collected every last tier of Faror. Link's spirit has grown. Travel continue until you exit the Silent Realm. Proceed with caution on your way. Uh oh. Oh, that adds a new element of difficulty. So now I have to make my way back without getting. Oh, Jesus. Is there a fast way back? Now, am I still timed while this is happening? It doesn't look like the timer's going down, so maybe not. How do I even... Oh, the timer go back. Yeah. So my, my timer isn't going because the flower whittles as time passed before, but... It's not doing it now. Oh, that's kind of an annoying mechanic. Why would you do that? These things are hard enough to do as it is. Boom. You got the water dragon scale. This sacred gift left by the goddess grants you the power to explore underwater and then even execute a spin maneuver. Away! Why do I need that, though? What area needed that? I think there's also... Oh, hello! I think there's a total of four silent realms. Congratulations, Master Link. You have passed this trial. You now have the power to proceed to the location of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. The water dragon scales one of the goddess's sacred gifts. The great spirit of the water dragon has provided you... The Great Spirit of the Water Dragon has provided you with the ability to swim freely underwater. The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods. Master, I must conclude this flame is likely in a part of this area you have not explored. What's up, big guy? Ooh, hello again. I see you have the Water Dragon scale there, Q. That's amazing. I heard that if you have one, Q, you can swim through the water like a dragon soars through the sky. Hmm, there must be places here in the woods that you haven't visited yet, Q. You should use the water dragon scale to explore areas you couldn't even get to before, Q. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, my eye. Well, think somewhere over there? I haven't really been over there yet, have I? Well, before that, though, let's... I didn't... Ah, my eye. 
I didn't get all those dust relics for nothing. Let's go do some uh, upgrading. Alrighty. How's Scrapper treating you? Did you need anything? To, any upgrade today? God, I can't read. Alright, so now I can upgrade my slingshot to a scatter shot. Next one slingshot equals a scatter. Sure. Give it to me. Go for it. And... Is there a skip? Well done. Here you go. You upgraded to the mighty scatter shot. Your shots will now pepper a wide range. Hold A to increase your shot power. I do have any stuff I'd like you to tinker around with, please. If you'd be so kind, upgrade this. The sacred shield. All right. Okay. Wow, that one was expensive. Well, this is basically the second best shield you can get. And the first best is the first best is hard to get. You upgraded to a divine shield. Mystical shield can repair itself over time. It's also more durable. I actually want you to upgrade one more time. I think this becomes the goddess shield. Uh, yes, please. Okay. And then I'm out of things for you to upgrade until... I think the only other thing you get in this game that can be upgraded is maybe like a bow and arrow and a quiver? So what is the durability on this shield now? Let's see. That's not... That's not a lot better. Oh? Oh, Jesus! You came to see me! I'm so happy! Oh, she's doing a little heart thing. Yo, you make me so happy, I think I'm gonna keel over. Lately, when I think about you, my heart gets all fuzzy. My heart races, I get short of breath, and I feel all dizzy. You don't think, could this be... Sounds bad. Ah. <laughs> oh, you're such a tease. Whoops, kind of forgot myself there. Back to work. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, I was going to ask if you want me to take care of you forever. What? Really? That makes me so happy. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I need to learn how to keep these delicious dreams in check. No, wait. I mean, are there any things you want me to check, darling? Her quest... Oh god, she's gotten a little obsessive. I feel bad too, because... You gotta shoot her down, but I mean, she's so... She's actually pretty nice. We'll see, maybe, maybe I can even do her quest right now, but I doubt it. Either way, I've got myself a fancy new shield. It's very shiny. It has a little face on it. So, uh, yep, we'll continue this in the next episode. So thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll be next up real soon, but until then, bye.